As we wait for the start of a match amongst the most anticipated fixtures over the course of the entire season. A day certainly not for the faint-hearted. It is yet another edition of this long-standing conflict between two sides engaged in a never-ending rivalry. One that never has and never will lose its intensity no matter what the context, no matter how many times these two clubs meet. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. Well, they call this a friendly, but the crowd clearly doesn't think so. More in actual fact, the way. Well, in games of this nature, as a player, Peter, you only want to work as hard as demanded. You don't want to have to go at it full pelt. But when the opposition is what it is, all of that kind of goes out the window. The challenge here will ask more of you, and so both teams will, will wish to, to give more than they take. It's one of those games, Peter, where if the opposition increase their effort, you have to follow it. There's the whistle. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. You can make the difference. Yeah, Hugo Lloris. His lightning-fast reactions and all-round. It's Ori! That's a fine save! Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. White, Granit Xhaka, over to the left, now it's on, Ori with a shot! Arsenal have created a real intensity from the start and there's no sign of any let up. Forward it goes. Both sides a bit lacking in intent. And it's Henri. Obama Yang hits one. Plenty waiting in the middle. Obama Yang. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Son Hyung Min. Right through the middle. Now it's Kane. Back to the keeper and try something new. Romero does well there. Alert. Good ball. He's had a shot. It's out for a goal kick. White goes looking, Arsenal going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Gill has it out wide and in space. Gill looking to get on the end of this. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw, some real no-nonsense defending.
another chance from a corner. Xhaka knocks it away. Saka. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Hoists it forward. Romero. Gascoigne pushes to get on the end of it. Aubameyang. And the weighted pass. Henri! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Henri really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Sanchez plays it forward. Now it's Kane. Gill. Hector Behrin. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. And it's Kane. It's broken loose. Brings it forward. Breaks on here. This is quite a run, and he's not done yet. And the shot! Goal! Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half-time, but when your star man gives you a critical lead just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal tonic. Arsenal are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Arsenal get themselves into the lead and that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Saka. And here's Henri. Chance to break. Gets it into the middle. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Hector Behrin crosses in a low one. It's the whistle for half-time. Well, there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. So first half thoughts? Arsenal clearly are benefiting from their homework. They've dealt with anything that's been thrown at them and have been smart on the break. Arsenal leading 1-0 at the break. Well, the action has already resumed here. A solitary goal, that has been the crucial difference. Had a shot! His reputation is better than what we've just seen. And that's been one straight back. Aubameyang tries to stroke it through. Lovely feet. Chooses to go back, and it's played forward. And here's the chance to counter. Hoiberg tries to get it forward quickly. He's left his man. Son Hyung Min has a goal! Straight at the keeper. That's just literally playing into his hands. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. Chambers battles to win it back. Son Kyung Min tore at them and just came up short. Yeah, the confidence we can admire, the decision making we can't. He learned from it. Henri is being picked on here. 
Well, they seem intent on marking him out of the game. They're certainly trying to wind them up in the process, Peter. Well read, he sorted that out. Now it's Henri. Odegaard. Hoiberg. So, Jim, what are you thinking? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Henri. Look at the defender bombing forward. Henri, who set up one goal so far. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Chambers drives it forward. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Come back to the keeper. Keeper's got good distance on that. Tottenham have it back and they can go again. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Saka plays a clever pass. He's had a go! Surely this time they've scored! Two up and threatening to pull clear. Loris did well the first time, nothing he could do about the follow-up. Well, look, regardless of whether the keeper could have done better or not, Peter, that was all down to the excellent movement in getting into the right position to apply the final touch. Tottenham are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Arsenal could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Yeah, looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me, I have to say. Oh, some tackle that. So that's it. It is all over. Arsenal emerge victorious here, and it's no more than they deserve. They were simply the better team. Well, how will we look back on that? Arsenal made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know. It's, it's not always about form, it's not...